Hello and welcome to Hoopla Kids How To. Today I'm going to show you how to make an awesome Play-Doh SpongeBob. Doesn't this look great? He's so funny. All you're going to need for this is yellow Play-Doh, blue Play-Doh, brown Play-Doh, black Play-Doh, red Play-Doh, a Play-Doh knife, some green Play-Doh, a Play-Doh rolling pin and finally some white Play-Doh. So let's get started. The first thing we want to do is to take our yellow Play-Doh, of course, because SpongeBob's yellow. We're going to roll it out and cut the rectangle of SpongeBob's body. We then want to cut off a zigzag at the top, just to add texture. He is a sponge after all. We're going to do the same at the sides, but much smaller. This definitely makes him look like a sponge. Now we're going to take some white Play-Doh. Roll it into a ball and flatten it out. You've now got a perfect circle for one of SpongeBob's eyes. Don't forget to make his other eye. Now we're going to make a long, thin shape out of the white. We want to add this to the bottom and cut off any excess. This is SpongeBob's shirt. We're now going to take the brown Play-Doh and roll it flat. We want to make another thin rectangle shape that sits underneath the white one. These are SpongeBob's shorts. Use some more of the brown Play-Doh to make a sort of triangle shape. These are going to be the legs to his shorts. Attach them at the bottom. We're now going to take some of the yellow and roll it out. We need to make SpongeBob's arms, of course. Don't forget to make two arms and also his legs. Using white, we're going to make SpongeBob sleeves. He's starting to look like SpongeBob already. Don't forget to do both arms. Now we want to take some blue Play-Doh. SpongeBob has got bright blue eyes. So do some circles in the Play-Doh and add them on top of the white base we've already made. Finally, add detail with a tiny bit of black Play-Doh. Using the black Play-Doh, make his smile. SpongeBob is always happy. We also need to add some black eyelashes. Wow, looking great! Now we're going to take another little bit of yellow to make Spongebob's nose. Add it in between his eyes. We also want to use some white Play-Doh to give Spongebob some teeth. Now take some white Play-Doh and roll it flat. We're going to wrap this around SpongeBob's legs. Because of course he needs his knee-high socks. Don't forget to do both legs. Cut off any excess Play-Doh. We're now going to add some detail using a very thin bit of black. This makes SpongeBob's belt. And of course, we need to make SpongeBob's tie out of red.
So cute. Don't forget to add the knot of the tie on top. And I'm using some very thin red Play-Doh to add detail to the socks. Finally, we need to make SpongeBob's shoes. I'm using black to do this. SpongeBob looks great, doesn't he? I can't wait to finish him. Perfect. What a great shoe. I'm adding a little bit more detail using blue on his socks. And of course, we can't forget SpongeBob's hands. I've chosen to use green Play-Doh to make SpongeBob's famous spots, but you can use a darker shade of yellow or a milder tone of green. And there you have it! Doesn't SpongeBob look great? A perfect Play-Doh SpongeBob. Today I'm going to show you how to make the most adorable Minion Play-Doh. Don't they look cute? So. For this, you're going to need some yellow Play-Doh, blue Play-Doh, black Play-Doh, white Play-Doh, some silver Play-Doh, a Play-Doh knife, and a Play-Doh rolling pin. So let's get started! The first thing we want to do is to roll out our yellow Play-Doh. We need to make the minion shape. It looks kind of like an egg, but not quite as round. Now we're going to roll our blue Play-Doh out flat. Using the knife, make sure your edge is super straight. We're then going to roll it around our minion's body. And cut off any excess. Smooth down the edges. Now we're going to roll out some of the excess blue Play-Doh. We want to make a sort of triangle shape and then cut it in half. This is going to be the top of the minion's coveralls. We're going to do the same for the back. Cute! Looking good already! Now, of course, we need to make the straps. Put them over and around. Just like this. We want to make the goggles that go on the minion. This minion's only going to have one eye, so I'm using the silver to make one circle. Make a little indent in the middle using your finger. We're going to fill this with some white for the eyeball. Looking good! Finally, add detail with the black, a tiny dot in the middle. It's looking like a minion, isn't it? To attach this, of course we need a strap, so we're going to make this out of black Play-Doh. We want to loop this all the way round from the front to the back of the head. Now, of course, we need to make arms. We're going to use some yellow Play-Doh for this. Make two little sausage shapes. We're going to make hands using black Play-Doh. Stick them on the side. 
like so. Now, our minion wouldn't stand up if he didn't have feet. We're going to make two round shapes out of black Play-Doh and attach them to the bottom. Looking cute! Right? Don't forget to add a smile! This minion's always happy. And of course, a little bit of hair. Finally, we're going to finish off with two little yellow buttons. And then a black button. And we're done! This minion's only got one eye. Look, it's Stuart! For my second minion, I'm going to make Tim. So this minion's going to have two eyes. We're going to use exactly the same process as we did before, but twice. We're even going to use the same process to add a black strap around the head. And of course, a smile. And some hair. And there you have it. Two different minions. But you can make loads. And there you have it. Minion Play-Doh. Super cute. Today we're going to learn how to make these awesome Ninja Turtle surprises. So here we have Michelangelo, Raphael, Leonardo and Donatello. What's inside of each? Let's have a look inside of here. It's Raphael. And what's inside Donatello? We have a purple egg. Another Ninja Turtle. And what's inside Michelangelo? We have an orange egg and another Ninja Turtle. What's inside Raphael? Of course, a red egg. And we have our Ninja Turtle in here as well. The turtles have different weapons. Here's Donatello's bow staff. And here's Raphael's side swords. And Michelangelo's nunchucks. Here's Leonardo's katana. Hey dudes, are you ready for our training session? I am fully armed. Cowabunga, man. Let's begin. Huh, huh. Whoa, those moves are bodacious, man. Wait till you see what I can do. Yeah, take that. First, take an egg and fill the egg with your Ninja Turtle. Take some green Play-Doh and roll it out with the rolling pin.
Make sure it's big enough to cover the egg. Wrap the Play-Doh around the egg and make sure there's no gaps. Now let's make our Ninja Turtle face. We're going to make Leonardo first, so take some blue Play-Doh for the bandana. Then very carefully using a knife, cut the shape of the bandana. Be very careful when using a knife and get an adult to help you. And there we go. Place that on top of the green Play-Doh. Now let's make the eyes. Roll out some white Play-Doh. And using the knife, cut out the white eyes. Stick them onto the bandana. Use more green Play-Doh for the cheeks. and stick them to the sides like this. There you go. Our Ninja Turtle is starting to take shape. Next, use some black Play-Doh for the pupils. Roll out tiny circles and put them in the middle of the white. Use more black for the mouth. Roll it out using the rolling pin and cut into shape. There we go. Now Leonardo needs a tongue. Use some pink Play-Doh for the tongue. into a heart shape and add to the mouth. And there he is. So what's inside? So there you go. I hope you've enjoyed making your Ninja Turtle surprises. Please come back and watch some more videos soon and we'll see you next time.